Time now for an update on Milton's path right from NBC meteorologist Michelle Grossman. Michelle, good morning. What's the concern right now? Good morning, Francis. Well, we're still seeing very heavy rain falling. The winds are blowing. We had wind gusts over 100 miles per hour during the overnight hours. We saw rainfall rates of uh, rainfall totals near 20 inches in some spots, so feet of rain. And we're continuing to see that rain falling. This is the latest on Milton. We're looking at the winds at 85 miles per hour. It's weakened to a Category 1 storm, but still brings some very torrential rainfall to portions of northern and central Florida. It's moving to the northeast at 16 miles per hour. That's good news. We expect Milton to be out of here later on this morning. But in the meantime, we're going to see damaging winds continuing along with uh, some devastating rains as well. We have flash flood emergencies. This is through noon today. And Milton moves off the uh, Florida coast later on this morning. That's the good news. Let's talk about some places where we're seeing the most extreme conditions. That's Jacksonville until noon today. Same with uh, Orlando. We're looking at the most extreme conditions right now through 8 a.m. Torrential rainfall right now. And then we're looking at storm surge in Jacksonville three to five feet. Peak winds 45 to 65. We'll take a look at those winds in just a minute. And Orlando, we're looking at the rainfall totals eight to 12 inches. Some spots saw nearly 20 and we're might go over that 20 mark as we go throughout the morning hours. We won't know as, uh, the devastation until that sun does come up. Flood alerts, 11 million people at risk. We have flood watches. We have flash flood warnings. We also have flood emergencies. That's where you're looking at that hot pink color, Tampa included there. And we're going to see that as we go throughout the next hour and a half or so. Winds are gusting to 71 miles per hour in Daytona Beach. So, Francis, the conditions are still uh, not great in a lot of spots. We'll talk more about this. Also looking at the weekend ahead in just a bit. Okay, still a whole lot to watch. Okay, thanks so much, Michelle. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.